don't care. Ring the bell! You better call this down the line. You, you better watch it. Your butt's worry going about me, Long. Worry about no, me. No, you worry not about him. You worry about me. really comfortable down there on that mat. I am the future of this business. I have the face for it. I have the look for it. I have the passion, the determination. But there's one thing I don't have. That's the gold around my waist. To show the entire world what I've proven to everybody here. I am the best. On September 10th, in front of my first live audience and WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. I will beat you for the women's championship and I will put it on the most deserving waist at the conservatory. You can't beat me, Claw. And on September 10th, Hollywood Heather is gonna take the title and steal the show. Look, Spencer, you pushed me and she held my tights. She held your you tights? Are, you were at her side the whole night. She held, did you she held? You cheated for her. Be serious. You cheated. Did she, did you she hold your tights? Your hands on did me. she hold your tights? Yes, she did. You want me to get you a takeout? Here it is. <laughs> Luke Spencer, you keep sticking your nose in my business where it doesn't belong. The only reason you won, Hollywood Heather, is because your tag team partner, Luke Spencer, cheated as the referee. There is no way 
you can beat me fair and square without a little help. Yes, you are an up and coming star. Yes, one day you will get that pretty pink belt around that deserving waist with a fair referee. On Saturday night, September 10th, I want a fair and impartial referee. And I'm going to go to the pencil, Dory Funk Jr. And to make sure Luke Spencer doesn't stick his nose where it doesn't belong and he doesn't put on that striped shirt. Because on that night, I'm going to remain the women's champion for the one, for the two. Whoa, come and get me, Heather.